been involved with the engineering challenge for four years now. I uh, first got involved as uh, the uh, campaign chair uh, within one of our office uh, divisions here in Edmonton. Um, that year I was a uh, um, participant in the challenge um, and then in subsequent years uh, my involvement has, uh, has increased uh, to the point where I'm uh, now, uh, this year I'm the chair of the engineering challenge. I see it as a, a great opportunity for uh, the engineering companies within Edmonton to, uh, to come together and do something constructive uh, while still having the competitive side of the engineering challenge to, uh, to benefit uh, um, the Edmonton region. We've just moved to our new facility as of October of 2010. So as part of the renovation, uh, we wanted a playground for our children. Um, when, we, when we came to the place, it looked kind of like a prison yard. It was concrete, cracked up concrete with, with a chain link around it. And we sort of said, really, we provide you the best before and after picture. When the opportunity came up, I volunteered and I was uh, chosen to be the site lead for the Connect Society um, site where we had planned to do landscaping and uh, playground installation at the, at the back of their new building. Well, I told you, I, you know, he wasn't hard to look at, so that made it easy. But I think what impressed me most in working with Dario was how organized he was and how passionate he became about what we're doing here and what we're wanting to accomplish. It was really important to him that he understand what we were doing and why we were doing what we wanted to have happen. I've, I've really seen uh, um the benefits of the, the engineering challenge uh, to our employees. Um, the, uh, it's really surprising to see who comes out, uh, people that you, uh, you, you don't expect, um, yet they, they come out and, and really enjoy the engineering, uh, engineering challenge day of caring. It rings, uh, rings home to a lot of the employees to actually get out and visit the, the agencies and, and meet the people that are um, both running the agencies as well as the people that benefit from the services the agencies provide. Engineering Day of Caring did, in some ways, so much more than enhance our playground and give us a clothing room that is much more functional and, and easy to access for the teen parents at Braemar School. But I think what it also did, it gave the opportunity for those dozens and dozens of volunteers to come into an environment and interact with and be part of a school where teens go to school, teen parents go to school, and be in touch a little bit with that part of the world and maybe increase their sensitivity to some of the challenges that teen parents face. It was my first year volunteering with United Way. I've participated in the United Way campaign within Stantec before, but I was asked by our chair and co-chair if I would be interested in this, and I think it was, it was a great opportunity to A, meet other engineers from other firms, but also do something positive for our community. Our staff were so impressed with not just the knowledge and skills and resources that they brought on site, but their compassion and their interest and their, their energy. It was a great opportunity to work with other firms and get to know individuals um, from other firms on a different basis, trying to work together. None of us knew each other in the morning. We got together, we divided whether we were inside or outside, and the team that I was working with, we headed on inside and just started with our list of what we thought needed to be accomplished for the day. So it's great relationship building amongst other engineering firms as well. One of our activities on the Day of Caring was to actually uh, take some of the, the furniture from their old building and help move it because we had uh, uh, rented a moving truck for that day. When I went to their old facility to pick up this equipment, it was um, amazing to see all the young children running around and being able to really see that what we were going to do was going to really impact uh, the day-to-day -day lives of these children. It actually started off really well in the morning. We were all gathered together in um, their lunchroom and one of the girls came to speak with us about her experiences and how she's benefited from the school. So I think that really gave us a good insight into what, how we were helping out the community and uh, the impact that the school had had and how we could help the school be more effective. So I think that was, it was a great opportunity. We were all very moved by it, so it was a good way to start the morning. It's that community spirit, not unlike what I grew up with, where you would gather a group of people together because you needed to accomplish something in a small community. And the only way you were able to accomplish it if you, if you all helped each other out. And that was a, kind of a, an urban experience of that rural kind of mentality that I grew up with. I think um, what stood out most for the day was what we could actually accomplish as a group. Going in there in the morning and looking at the room we had and the state of the walls and everything else, um, I didn't quite think we'd be done at the end of the day and in the end we ended up finishing early and everything looked 
great, everything was back in the room, organized, painted, and all cleaned up. So it was impressive to see when a whole group of people was working together what we could actually accomplish. Was it worth it? Absolutely. Would I encourage other people to become involved? Absolutely. Um, it, it does, it expands your world. And I know a bunch of people now that will ha know about what we do. And they will tell other people about what we do. And I will tell other people about what they do. And so it's kind of that wonder, wonderful ripple effect that happens when you do good things for each other.